Okay guys, how are you doing? This is Stephanie and the Soul Sister Monarch channel. Okay, so I was getting ready to do all the bonus reads. <clears throat> and all day since the beginning of the morning, I have had nonstop Capricorn in my head. Just Capricorn, Capricorn. Like somebody just Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. And so I'm like pushing it away, pushing it away. And I'm, I'm thinking about how I've got to do Aries, Leo, and Sag. And I'm doing each one of you guys to get your own video because you guys won the monthly thing that we do. Having the most um, views on the videos and likes. And so I'm like, I've got to get this done because I concentrate and I write certain things down that I want to say so I don't forget when I go to say it and because there's a lot I want to tell you guys and so I go to do this and this Capricorn, 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 Capricorn in my head. I'm like, oh my god, what is this about? So I, I've stewed with it all day, did what I had to do Um, after I got off work. I thought, okay, I'm going to start this again. And no, 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 here we go again. And so finally I'm like, okay, I'm going to just go meditate about this for a while and talk to Spirit. Like, what is this? Do I need to do this reading? And I got the answer. And the answer is, yes, this person wants their voice heard. And they may regret it. But they want to get into my energy space and they want to get their story heard. So by all means, we're going to find out. So as I sat and thought about this, I could feel this person's energy and they have strong energy. It's, it's Capricorn energy. So of course, this person's stubborn, bullheaded. Mm, this person wants their way. Um... This person, I asked Bear, <clears throat> and we'll check it with the pendulum in a while, see if I'm right, unless one of the queens pops out, which there could be a queen under here, because I just shuffled different decks, let them fly, and I just lined them up, and then like we'll go back, look at what we got here. And so, um, I was told that this is a feminine. She's in her masculine energy right now. Okay, so there's a good chance that this person could be heartbroken. They could be toxic right now because of the heartbreak. Um, and that's maybe why they want their story heard. Or maybe this person, um, I, I just keep, in my head, keep hearing, she wants to tell on somebody. She wants to tell on somebody. So. If, if that's the case, to bug me all day about this and try to get into my space to get your point across, um, you might not be happy with what's going to come out in this reading for you. Because if, if this is what you want in this reading is to get other people in trouble by letting things come out, just remember things will come out about you in here. And since you're so forceful, and I have a feeling um, you could possibly be going through some kind of a spiritual awakening at the same time. And when that happens, a lot of traumatic things happen, events. There's a lot of, um, when you go through this kind of thing, you lose a lot of people in your life. Okay? So, um, and people get in toxic things because it's just a part of it. Because you're working out old wounds, old past patterns. Um so you know karmic lessons life lessons ancestral ties being broken all kinds of things <sighs> but i'm just telling you i really hope that's not what you're bugging me about all day because if something's happened bad to you that's one thing and that you don't want this to happen to someone else and that's why you want your story heard that's totally different and you're in the healing process but if this is about getting the story out because you want revenge or you want to hurt other people because you're hurt, 
<sighs> that's that's it. I'm just saying. So, anyways, this stopped what I was doing because you've been bugging all day, whoever you are. Um, but I have figured out you are a feminine energy, and I'm sure it'll come out here. Um, the thing is, is you're really smart. You are. You're a really smart person. Um, I have a feeling you're probably really striking and beautiful. And, um, so that makes you super, um, I keep getting the word temptuous. So you'd be tempting for most people. And then you put some smarts into that. And if you're beautiful and you might be exotic looking, or you might just have that all American girl thing going on, or, um, I don't know. I don't know. I get, I get a lot of different, you're really strong. I do know that. I have a feeling you're, like I said, I get a feeling that you're very striking. Um, so, um, this may be about that maybe for once in your life, you are not the center of attention or you've always gotten what you wanted and you're not. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, um, <clears throat> We're going to dig into this because apparently this is important to somebody. So I pulled a bunch of different decks out here, different things. We'll see at the bottom where we start how deep this thing goes to which other decks we're going to use. So anyways, let's get going. All right, so shuffled. I got a couple of... Uh, stone the cards out. Um, so, calcite came up, and this is really good for relaxation. Calcite, okay. It's really good to put next to your nightstand. It helps you sleep. It's a calming stone, soothing. If you have, um, it helps like kyanite does. Panic attacks and things like that. So a lot of people wouldn't think so, but it does. Okay. Somebody needs to spruce up their protection, okay? So you need some black tourmaline, okay? And remember, be careful. Black tourmaline is very powerful. So if you're gonna wear it, test it out. You might not wa want to wear it for very long because it might be too strong for you until you get used to it. Um, if it is, then just keep it somewhere. You can put it in spaces and it will zap out negative energy and put protection there. And then you need to clear it out. You can just run it through water, clearing it out and change temperature of the water and fill it back up. Whenever you clear things out, you guys, you gotta fill it back up or you have an empty vessel that you're sending out, okay? Um, Kunzite, this is about self-love, okay? This is beautiful. I don't have a piece of this. I wanna get one of these. Self-worth, self-love. Um, it's a lot like rose quartz, um, very healing, but it's about self-love, okay? So, here you go, guys. Ah, dang, my thumb. All right. Okay. All right, Miss Capricorn, this is your read, whoever you are. Been in my dang head all day. I have a feeling this person is like a high priestess because it's the only person that would be able to uh, <clears throat> send messages because it wasn't spirit. This is somebody that likes to invade people's energy space and is somewhat like an energy vampire, feeds off people. So I already figured that out today with the type of energy we're dealing with. So. All right, we're going to work our way from how the cards started. Okay, so I have a um, Ganesh deck. Well, I have two, and they have just positive, beautiful messages. So change came up. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into who can take it. Okay? Didn't I say you were pretty powerful? Mm-hmm. Sure did. See all that? That transformation change. Transformation. Get out in nature. Ground yourself, okay? That will help a lot. 
All right, then we have hardship, okay? Well, <clears throat> here we go. Hardship. I just heard the word breakup in my head. Um, may I embrace what's happening right now? As baffling or painful as it is, help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me as I am yours. Okay? Look how cool. I didn't show you the back of these cards. Cool, huh? Beautiful. Love them. Okay. So, mm hmm Accept the change. Do not go backwards and get stuck in a karmic cycle. Oh, let's hope you're upright when you pop out, my dear. Okay. So, let's see. All right. Then I had some angel messages. Okay, 44 and 222. Two, two. Write these numbers down repeatedly somewhere. I don't care. Tape them up on your damn mirror. And when you see them, repeat them. And I'm going to give you words and say those words too, okay? So 44, I am supported. Okay, your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination. And even greater success will come in the future. Okay? You see that? There's like a glare. These are cool cards too. I love these cards. Two, two, two. I am balanced. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. Okay? So these are some good cards here. So, you know, maybe, maybe this is um just about like a breakup, okay? Maybe somebody's just struggling with this breakup, but, um, but uh, if, if this is about trying to get people in trouble and bring, bring it out in a reading for your benefit, sweetheart, and it's not because you, something happened to you and you don't want to happen to others, it's not going to be good. Okay. So, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. So, take that as you see fit. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, quit being controlling and manipulative. Or creating illusions, Spirit just said. All right. Free yourself is in the reverse. So what did I just say about wanting to get stuck? Hmm? Okay. It's time to take back control of your life. Oh, I just said control. I'm going to go down there. <clears throat> okay. It's in the reverse. Freeing yourself. Uh. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Okay, so since I felt your energy all day and I could feel some of your, I could feel you bitter. I could feel you're angry, you got rage in you, which I can understand all those feelings when you get, when a person gets hurt or if something's happened to you, which we'll find out. Maybe none of this is your fault, but what has created now is what I've gotten, I've felt today is revenge. And I just keep, it keeps coming back. So, um, when I get these kinds of rough feelings, which all the last pass reads, I just loaded up. I use this deck of cards because spirit has, has wanted angels to be people to start working with their angels more to realize there's so many people ignoring the signs and the angels that are out there and the guides and the, I, past loved ones there's just so many things that people don't use to their benefit um and then there are people out there using these things in the wrong manner for the wrong things so when that happens um i get told to use this special deck i have and um these gods that are sent down but they're angels too uh I, i'm gonna do eventually I've been breaking things down and talking about different gods and then we want to talk about angels and different things but um 
I have so many books and all this stuff. And I just got a really cool bag, book bag that my ex-husband brought me in like for three boxes of books. Because my ex-mother-in-law passed away. And she was a Reiki master and a dowser and all these other cool modalities. But she had the same interest that I did. And so I was very grateful to get all this stuff. I mean, there's so many books in here that I have never read that I've wanted. And some you can't find. They're out of print. I've tried. So I am thrilled. And I am going to spend a lot of spare time reading so I can share this stuff with you and, and educate you and um, help those of you that are seeking into past life stuff and why right now you are where you are and why and it also helps with your spiritual journey and purpose if that's the choice of the path for you to go on it's not for everybody so anyway let's get back so um I'm like well I, I, I just have this feeling that these angels need to be well, see who wants to come out for this read. You know, if I shuffle through a couple times, nothing pops out, then I wasn't going to worry about it and just, you know, we'd see how the read go and then I'd fill them if there was some rough energy still. But no, these all popped out. So that means there's something going on here that the big guns are being sent down, okay? So we have... This is Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? And it's reversed, this person. Or persons. Depends. We'll see here what we got going. So, um, this would be Earth energy. So, Virgo, Capricorn, and um, Taurus, okay? So, when this, this, the name of this one is Lala Hell. And, hold on, do wear glasses. I want to see the number we're dealing with. Is number six, huh. and uh, number six is the number of this cycle that we're in, and this whole year that we're in. It represents love too. It has to do with humanity, uh, a whole bunch, and spirituality, but a whole bunch of other things. Um, so this is the God, the praiseworthy God, that gets sent down from up above to come. And bring the light of understanding, acquires knowledge, and cures illness. Okay? That's what this God, I call these like some, uh, I don't want to say demigods, but anyways, they have angel. they're angels too. They're very, very special. I think there's 72 of them. I can't remember of a book, but anyways, um, there's some that are even in in um very small places of knowledge that you would ever find all of them. But anyways, and they're hidden for certain reasons. You know, just like certain stories, certain people have been left out of the Bible. Same kind of thing. Okay, so anyways, back to this. So when this is in reverse, um, somebody is f choosing not to understand. Somebody's choosing not to seek the knowledge that they're being pushed in a direction about. Um, this is somebody that has <laughs> puts themselves in a lot of misunderstandings, okay? Um, and this is also about somebody that is sick right now, okay? Spirit says there's more than one person. So someone is sick and there's others that it's yet to have hit. Okay, Lord. Hope this is not STDs, people. Okay. Anyways. Somebody needs to turn, get themselves turned around in the right direction. Or it's going to be detrimental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So. Then we have the Hermit Upright, okay? And that's Virgo energy. So this is the God, the Word of God creating all. This is number 70, so look it up. I don't know off my head what 70 means, okay? This is the alchemy transformation rules. Natural events helps with spiritual progress, okay? I don't, I abom my yaya. I don't know. This is so hard to say, this one. Okay, but this one is coming down. OK, 
okay, with earth energy. And this is learning alchemy. But this is also when they do, when it says um, alchemy transformation, uh, natural events and all that. Um, so if somebody's sick, this is about this angel coming down to get you to start being more holistic. Use modern medicine if that's what you need, but also implement holistic okay it doesn't hurt to have both but that, that's part of the reason that this one's coming down and it's to open you up to learn how to heal yourself okay um the, this person could be very much um into learning about um essential oils herbs plants um what they can do for you okay but this is also about spiritual progress so <laughs> transformation i said awakening earlier oh god then the next one is death <laughs> and we just said transformation oh and spiritual progress oh yeah this is a dark night of the soul i'm so sorry yeah mm -hmm. but you got a team of angels i guess that's why so many came out popped out yeah so this one is scorpio energy my muamiya so a tower is coming. This angel will bring a tower. If you don't transform. So Capricorn, you might want to be really careful about the next actions you make. Mm hmm. Somebody's got a ripping headache. And there's been tons. I've, I've got one right now. My friend. This is. Yeah. This person is not like. I told you if uh, you wanted me to do this reading. Whoever you are, I told you back in my head. Uh, <clears throat> you want this so bad, things are going to come up. So, anyway, you've got to grow with this. Endings in rebirth influences health and longevity. Okay? So, there could be a Scorpio that's having health issues. A Virgo. Um, Taurus and Capricorn. But we already need the Capricorn. is. Uh, and the person pushing this okay eight of pentacles this is number 31 oh um so look at number 31 look at number 72 eight of pentacles okay so this is the oh, i knew it the this god is the teacher intellectual talent provides knowledge so whoever you are you're meant to take your spiritual talents and help with humanity. Help bring in this new world. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's something that you are very talented about. And if, if you get in, you're struggling with money, or several, you could be, this could be, I keep hearing several. So there's, oh, look, we got the hermit in reverse. Do you want anybody else? Um, King of Pentacles. Oh, Lord. King of Wands. I mean, Cups. Ooh, we got the Devil. Our Tower. Oh, it's the Moon in Reverse of Secrets. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. So, yeah. Someone's supposed to be stepping into, or more than one person. They have a spiritual path, life purpose, a journey to get on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, and this person is going to come and push you, whether you want it or not. You're going to be getting downloads at night like crazy. Okay. Then, oh, this one is luck a bell, luck a bell, luck a bell, okay? You're going to be gaining rapid knowledge. Mm-hmm, spiritual downloads. Um, a lot of you, when you get spiritual downloads, you will awaken Um, at the weirdest times. Super, like, early, like, any time from, like, 1 in the morning to, like, 6. But it'll be a pattern that you will be, like... When I used to get them really, really bad, I it'd be like, for the longest time, it'd be between like three and five. 
and then it'd be six o'clock and I would just wake up and it's like, oh, can't go back to sleep. And so that's when you know you had a download. Sometimes you'll wake up and be super refreshed and be like, oh, other times you'll wake up and you will feel like you had a brick wall. But um, that's when they happen. So, but how you'll know is because it'll continuously happen to you and you just will be like so annoyed. <laughs> okay, you'll know, I promise you, you'll know. Um, so this is King of Wands energy. And did I say we have a King of Wands? No, oh, I didn't, but then I just, I thought I, see? Okay, there's a King of Wands energy here too. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this is also the king, um, the god of merciful judge. Look up number 50. So someone's halfway there. So, so it's like having one foot in and one foot out of going in the direction you know you're supposed to go in, the direction that you're meant to go on, the, the, the direction you're being urged to go on. But then there's that other direction that's, it's more comfortable for you because you know the outcome of it. Um, and you do crave the toxicity and the, or just heard the, the chase, the chase. So it's that hot, cold energy, runner, chaser, cat, mouse, bullshit. Yeah, that's all that is. So this, this God comes down to pitch you in the place. And then you're going to learn eloquence. And there's a bunch of answers that you have doubt about that are going to get cleared up. But this is I mean, it, the God of merciful judgment. So you're going to be brought to your knees. Okay. So that's pretty powerful. All right. So we're going to work our way back here. Okay. So the first card I flipped out. Now this is about money. Okay. See this? Somebody was shelling out money. Mm hmm. It's dried up though. Yep. 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 And this is, so that was six of pentacles. Now you've gone down to the four of pentacles <clears throat> and it's in reverse. So the four of pentacles is when uh, we're holding on to things too tight. Now you're not because there's nothing left. There's nothing to hold on to. You should have held on tighter. Okay, then we have the hermit card in reverse. So this is the Virgo energy. So this is somebody that, um, has gone inward here and was in hermit mode and i'm hoping that when they were there they weren't just in hiding so sometimes people go into hermit mode because they're hiding they're in trouble they're running from something they don't want the truth to come out it's like the person that um throws the rocks and then they hide the hand their hands yeah it's that person um but this could be the after you lost all this money um, you, you, you put you in a depression. So you went inward to figure this out. And then, so it might be good because now you're coming out of it. If not, then if this is somebody in hiding or a couple people, they're being forced out of hiding. Okay. But there was a definite, oh, battle. Yeah. This is fighting over people. Yeah, I just heard bloodshed. I wonder if uh, but somebody wants to put all their options down. My guess is we got a sick wand here. Yeah. Oh. There's secrets. So this is Pisces energy. That's in reverse. And it's emotions too, so the secrets are coming out, so this person's freaking out. Yeah. Because they thought they were going to get judgment. Okay, Capricorn. Told you. It's coming out in reverse. You're not going to get the judgment you thought you were going to get. Okay, guys. Hold on. My contacts are fogging up. i got to get some solution. Be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. My contacts. 
All right. Sorry. All right, let's get back to it. Sorry. All right, so you're not going to get judgment. Thought you were, and that's what I thought in the beginning, that this was the purpose of this read, that you thought this would bring you judgment. It's going to bring judgment. It will. It's going to, because now you, you are going to expose, have me expose a bunch of people, but you uh, will receive judgment from this as well. So, uh -huh, you're in devil energy. So, you are here, darling. And I said, you're in your masculine devilish energy. So, we don't see you here yet. So, I mean, not as a feminine. I mean, th th look at this. This is super out of control. Yeah. Yeah, then the chariot is in reverse. This is cancer energy. Yeah. Yeah, you thought this was going to give you forward motion. You thought this was going to get you somewhere. Yeah, look at you riding on that chariot. Okay. The only person that rides this chariot is the empress. So it's reversed. You're in karmic energy. You are like all the damn queens in reverse. Yep, this is you. Mm-hmm. Somebody's car could be broke down too, or maybe they had travel planned and those fell through. Or it could be the money ran dry. That could be the other reason. Uh, King of Cups involved. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Well, at least he's upright. King of Pentacles, too. All right, this is making more sense now. So, I just heard this is a three-way. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Hermit here. And we also have... Oh, this is... This is a lot of... This is super... Fixed energy, a lot of super duper powerful personalities. I, I mean, earth signs, yeah. And we got, we got water signs here. And then remember, I said, I, the King Wands didn't show up, but when I talked about it, the God came down about that. That's coming about the King. So there's a King of Wands here somewhere. I guarantee it'll come out. If not, then um, this King of Cups is in his King of Wands energy. Or you could be Capricorn. Um, you could be in that, because you're in such masculine energy now, you could be taking on, like, uh, the King of Wands energy as well. And that would make sense, because, like I said, how I talked about you, um, you, yeah. <sighs> don't, don't tell me that's... All right, four of swords, okay? So this is somebody or a couple of you that has um, gone, you, you had some downtime, okay? You kind of put yourself in timeout, okay? And a bunch of you are still there, and that makes... Ah, never mind. Okay. All right, let's get some more cards. Let's see what we got going on. Okay. Ace of Cups. So there's some love here, okay? Somebody does have some love here for somebody. But this is just pure mental imprisonment, self-torture. I just heard um, mind fuckery went backwards. So this is somebody, like, somebody likes to manipulate, play games. Oh, I said earlier, tower. So we got... Tower in reverse, which that makes all the sense in the world because remember I said you've got the God that's bringing a tower and I said if you resist and this has to do with your spiritual awakening, has to do with setting yourself damn free, freeing yourself. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the tower is reversed because this is you. Oh, it's going to be really bad if you don't get with the program. Come on, sister. You can do this. I know you can. You can come out of this. Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. So 
those king of cups could be really in the knight of cups in reverse energy spirit says no he 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 want he's put down his options so the king of cups he's not a player anymore in in whatever this was he he's had enough i just heard okay so This is not a cup, it's about the King of Pentacles then. Oh. Yeah. So this King of Pentacles, he is out of strength. He could be the one that's sick, I just heard. And he is stuck in the karmic wheel. It's going backwards. So this is karma. So, Mr. King of Pentacles is in the uh, Knight of Cups energy. So he's ready for his straight jacket now. He's seeing, like, the guys in the white coats outside in the trees when he's out smoking. <laughs> oh, my God. I heard this person likes whiskey. Um, this person is, I, I just heard mentally disturbed right now. Everything's going wrong. They're losing it. They're having mental breakdowns. I heard the word dangerous. I mean, this is somebody that's lost their emotions and they're er erratic, erratic. This is somebody that can go from like snapping to losing their shit to putting somebody down to the next moment, crying and begging them back. I just heard they got some bad news. Okay. Let me read your turn, sister. You wanted this read. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. So whoever you are, you're going to have to go into the comments and tell me your name or message me. Let me know who you are because this is very interesting. So this is wanting to get messages out, okay? Uh, <laughs> I hope you didn't put out some mass messages, you know, on the internet about people or someone or release something you know you shouldn't have to be vengeful. That's what I'm being told. This person, this king of pentacles, he's heard enough. Let it go. Leave him alone. Just walk away. You got nothing to say. Yeah, it was third party situation. See all those? See him? Having a good time. Yeah. He thought he was a ladies' man. So did this king of cups. They both did. Yep. Some good news is coming, okay? And there's a ton of spiritual healing. It's Leo energy. It's forward movement. Spirit said some of it's going to be forced. Yeah, you got to get out of your... Get this is back in your head, you guys. All of you here getting stuck back in your head and your feelings and go. This is going backward thinking, oh, should I stay with that person? Oh, should I this? Should I that? No, no. Get out of that. You're going forward. If you want to go back to somebody, then do it and stop playing the games. If, if you don't, then let it go. Oh my God, people. There's a million, billion, trillion people in this damn world. Quit finding one of the only assholes out there. I have a knack for it, but I don't, I'm, no, no more, not for me, I'm good, I, I, yeah, 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 I, I'm good, I don't need to be that person anymore, and whoever, any of you are, this, all of you, stop it, stop it, nothing good's gonna come, ah, <sighs> the Empress in reverse, well, there you are, didn't I say just a while ago that you were all the fucking queens in this deck in reverse. Yeah. That's the Empress. Wow. 
Someone's getting pissed because I'm super hot now. Sorry. You shouldn't have been bugging me all day. And you should have thought about this. Because I had better things to do with my time. Okay. I don't even know who you are. Nope, I have no clue. I just want you to get yourself upright and get going and put get yourself in a place that you have self worth. You love yourself again. You're being you, not whoever. You got like you have at least four personalities. I'm picking up on. Spirit says six. So this is somebody that may need medication. Yeah. Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. This is somebody you're stringing along, sweet pea. They're young, dumb. I just heard you guys are spreading things around. Yeah, th I, I don't like this. This is somebody way too young for you to be messing with. This is like a teenager. If it's not a teenager or somebody underage, this, this person right here, it's somebody that's not all mentally there. But they have a sex addiction. King of Pentacles dead. This Scorpio may have, I don't know. He does all. I can feel his energy. He's sick. I spirit just says this Scorpio needs to get checked up. Nine of Wands. Well. What was I just talking about? Just answered my question. <laughs> you guys all took this thing way too far. <laughs> this is like somebody that thinks they're you, Hefner. I just heard grooming, grooming. Ten of Pentacles. It's all about money. There's money, big money that was involved here. And somebody was shelling it out, remember? Ah, Hierophant. Ooh. Now there's another player. Taurus. I just heard a wannabe spiritualist. Hmm. Oh. He's, he's, um... Hold on. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Where's that other card now? This makes sense. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Yep. Hold on. Let's see something. All right. The truth's going to come out about the money that was involved at the higher front. I just keep hearing he foots the bills he foots the bills okay okay yeah he was paying you capricorn wasn't he keep hearing the word escort high priced she's beautiful sexy a little piece of dynamite hmm okay well anyway this higher font he's a dirty bugger dirty dirty dog gone wrong his wand is definitely broken too and remember me saying that this person thinks they're like Hugh Hefner oh, he, he, he portrays this okay Mr. Playboy this person could have a mansion and remember me talking and saying grooming yeah this person grooms people 
uses money, cars, sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever. Oh my God, why do I have to keep tapping into this shit? <sighs> so yeah, you got a big you you got a big problem here. It seems to me the only person that smarted up early here was this peanut cups and you're pissed at him because he's gone cold turkey on you. This king of pentacles, you can <laughs> spirit says you can't fuck you you can fuck with him, but you can't literally fuck with him anymore because of what he's got going on mentally and physically. Okay. Ooh. He's down for the count. Spirit says you will be next if you don't get upright. The Scorpio's on his way into spiritual awakening and he's 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 accepting well <laughs> I just heard he's now accepting that he wasn't before. He's not liking it, but he's surrendering and going with the flow. However, sweetheart, you are just fighting this tooth and out. But the secrets are coming out. The truth. So I keep hearing menage a trois. Portobello mushrooms. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody likes portobello mushrooms. Weird. I keep... I just heard geyser. All right. There's a definite battle, a fight, which that's, that's obvious. I mean, come on. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> this higher font, he did a job on everybody. This poor King of Pentacles. He's in, he's reversed Knight of Cups and now he's reversed Knight of Pentacles. No job. This person's homeless. And they used to be able to make money with their sexuality. And that King of Pentacles, I keep hearing the word, chris, he was, he's charismatic, good looking. Just heard the word sharpshooter. <clears throat> sharpshooter. Silver tongue devil. Liar. Thief. Energy vampire, soul sucker. Mm. All right, spirit. Two swords in reverse. So two swords is, and it depends on the decks and whoever does the decks, but um, it is being blinded or the blindfold coming off. But in this deck, this deck is about your, it's the dreamscape deck. So this is your subconscious, your dreams. And then the reality. Okay. So it's in reverse. And um, I don't like this card in this deck because it's it's evil. Uh-huh. This is about somebody doing things behind the scenes. They're cloaked. And um, there's a heart being dangled. Okay. So. A lot of people got hurt here. Mm hmm See that? Oh, I just heard the word animal sacrifice. And I just looked down at this card, too. Look at that swan trapped. All right. Oh, God. There's a King of Swords involved, too. Like, really? Or is this the higher font? Oh, there's a Queen of Swords, too. Oh, so you have a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords. So we got a couple here. All right. So, I said swingers earlier. Oh, my God. So, this is King of Swords. Queen of Swords, this is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And I just keep hearing the word, they're, they think they're a power couple. They're involved here, too. So, Hierophant brought them on board, apparently. Yeah. Page of Wands in reverse. Mm. 
Well, this isn't good. Uh, this is them sending in. Remember me talking about the underage? There she is. Could be another temptress. Um. Uh, all right. I want to figure this out. Hold on. They thought they were going to have the four of wands, but that's in reverse. Yeah. And then the six of wands, that's about victory. It's in reverse. There's no victory. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Hold on for a minute. All right, so <clears throat> I bought this and the Greek market from this sweet little old Greek man that I just fell in love with him and his stories. I've had this for a long time ago. My youngest son, he was doing a report on Greece and so we went down to the market we have here and bought him a fisherman's hat. And um, I use this as a pendulum but it's not so the little greeks sit on this side of i call it the bay but it's not so sitting in this side. anyway that song you know that song that's in my head right now so somebody must be listening to that um i know you know what song i'm talking about sitting on the sun on the bay okay well i can't get all the words right but anyways okay so anyways um, they take this and they run it through their hands and they there's a certain way that they do it and they you have to run it through each finger and it, and they sit and that's when they're waiting for the fishing boats to go out or the fish to come in and these are the little retired little little cute guys that sit out there um, or uh, well, the Greeks they're known to carry these in their pockets the men a lot of women use them for praying and different things um, but the men this is a source of um distressing and anxiety and then you have all the stones on them so the different stones which mine has um rose quartz on it so mine's got this is love okay this is about unconditional love that's about self-love so and he picked it out for me because he said i was lovely and he could see that i bring and give lots and lots of love. So he picked it up for me. All right. So anyways. All right. So we're going to ask some yes or no questions here. Okay. And we'll start out and I'll ask the question. And you'll know what it, that what I ask, the direction it goes. That will be for us to start out yes or no. Okay. And then as I ask the questions and we go on, you'll know what in direction they mean okay all right spirit so let's clear out is my name stephanie vigas thank you spirit I need you to clear out all right spirit so Capricorn. They've got some rough energy. Are they in the Page of Wands energy? No. Okay. Okay. Is this a page? Underage child brought into the picture. Something foul pen. All right. Clear, please. I have a feeling, is this why the King of Cups got out as fast as he did? Okay, clear. Thank you. 
There's the higher font behind this whole thing. Okay, thank you. Is this King of Pentacles down for the count? No. Okay. Clear. Is he sick? I just heard very. Okay. Okay. I keep hearing nobody's going to get any victory at this point. The King of Cups will be lucky, Spurs, because the involvement. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. This Taurus, Hierophant, he likes to play the piano, Spirit says. I know this energy. This energy's been around before, and he does like to play the piano. Mm hmm I just heard a con like a contract for um, music. It, it, it's getting pulled. That's all I heard. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right. I heard that's his wife. She's pulling back everything. She's pissed. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Death again. Transformation. Scorpio energy. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, She's lost everything, too. She's really the page of pentacles because he made her whatever she is that no more, I heard. She's pulled back all the money from which she was investing in this and now he's taken it all from her. And uh, What does this emperor have to do? This is Aries energy, and I and I always say Taurus, but somebody can just embody that, and they're in the they're in the Emperor energy. Okay. Oh my God, Can Wands. This, yep, that keeps coming up too. So the Emperor is this Emperor is in. King of Wands energy. Oh my god, there's too many people here involved. There's just too many people. I mean, we have two couples now. Just heard the name Julie, heard the name Jeff. Jeff's been coming up a lot today. Blake, I heard that again. I've had that for a while. Yeah, just more heartbreak, more Three of Swords. God. I just heard people are in lots of trouble. Oh. Okay. People are getting cut out of hangman mode. They're getting literally cut out of the tree. I mean, they're get. This is like spirits going. Nope, you won't be in hangman mode anymore. Nope, you don't get to be hangman anymore. Nope, neither do you. Oh, and definitely not you. You're just getting cut the hell out. Yeah, ten of wands. End of the road. It's over. It's in reverse. Mm 
So it being in reverse, this means that you had enough, you're exhausted. And when it's upright, that's when you're at the end. And I just said, you are at the end. You, you're at the end. But you're not getting, none of you getting out of this yet. You are at the end of the bullshit of whatever was going on here. But it's far yet from over. Okay. One more time around and then I'm done. And then we'll look at these other cards because we're into this an hour. Yep. I just said, I just, fucking, I just said, it's not over. The World Cup, I mean, the World so maybe with somebody, maybe somebody's a skier. World Cup. That has to do skiing. That has to do skiing or soccer. World Cup. Anyway, maybe somebody likes those sports. Uh, but the cycle's not over. I remember we had the we had the karma. We had the karma cycle too. So you got the, also Metatron and Michael are here because Metatron and Michael rule over um the world card and um. The Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, I couldn't think. Oh my gosh. Yep. We're ending here with this with the tarot deck. Justice. This is Libra energy. Yeah, you guys better hope there's no Libra involved here. Ooh. They bring instant karma to people's lives. That's what they do. Okay, so I had a feeling this was going to be a lot of fuckery, trickery here. So sorry about the swearing. So I, I prepped and I pulled out what I have is called the fuck it deck. Don't bring that out for very many situations, but sometimes it's called for. And here we are, sweetheart. You wanted this read so bad. And the rebel deck. Okay. So the rebel deck I shuffled and the card on the top is... Ask a fucking expert. Yeah, there's a bunch of people that need experts here. <laughs> Time to let go. Oh, and then on the back of it. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Okay. And this one is time to let go. Move the fuck on. Be fucking grateful. Shit could be much worse. Fuck fear. It will lie to your face, fear. Oh, yeah. It paralyzes you. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spiritual sp spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit, bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Go dive into like your favorite foods and, and go cry your damn eyes out and purge and release you guys. Get back into hermit mode. This just proves you need to get back. You're getting cut. When I when you're getting cut out of the tree, that means you don't get to be in hangman energy anymore. Spirit's not going to let you. This, these situations and whatever's going to be coming this, which I, I know this there's some shit that's going to go down here. I can feel it. And that's why this person panicked today. Okay. Must be. Must be. But they're cut off. Won't be able to do that again. Um... So these messages are to help everybody, though. So, and whoever she is, we want to help her as well, okay? Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit, okay? Forgive, let that shit go. Laugh. This is the last one I'm pulling from, from that day. Laugh, okay? Where the fuck is your sense of humor? Laughter. Just like love is the best medicine out there. And when you can learn to laugh and love still at the same time going through things, you will go with the flow. You'll purge properly and heal. And things will turn out so much better. Okay? 
clear its energy. You guys know whenever you light an incense, you make a wish, you send a blessing. Always, always, always. All right, so we got the fucking cards. Since this is a whole, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in here too. And there's definitely a spiritual awakening going on and all that good stuff. So, whoever you guys are, you can do it though. You can snap out of this. Yes, you can. If you're in legal troubles and things, take care of it. Handle it. Alright. So, happy fucking times are coming soon. Because the law of attraction fucked with you. Ooh. Get the fuck over it. Okay, so I just read these backwards. So, get the fuck. Oh, let's look at the back of these cards. They're hilarious. They make me laugh. Okay. Get the fuck over it. Quit taking yourself so damn seriously. Because the law of attraction fucked with you. Mm -hmm. Happy fucking times are coming ahead. Okay. So, that's how they meant to come out in order. But I'm getting tired. So, it's late. I gotta go to bed. Alright, what else do we got? What? <laughs> See the bigger fucking picture before taking action. Love has finally fucking arrived. I keep hearing Scorpio. So, I think this Scorpio is figuring it out, out of everybody. I don't see anybody else's, but I, I have a feeling this King and Queen of Swords couple, they're kind of like bystanders I keep hearing, because I keep asking about them in my head, and I'm being told they're like bystanders, so whatever, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Time to change a fucked up situation. Do it one fucking step at a time. Try it and see what the fuck happens. So, so I, I, this is about revenge. I'm telling you, positive thoughts create positive shit in your life. All right. So enough of those. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at one more that just is on the bottom. <laughs> There's two that are fair. Okay. Life isn't fucking fair, but you are awesome. Okay? It's for somebody out there. This one always makes me laugh when it comes up. Deja Poo, your habit of attracting shit is back. Okay, Capricorn. All right. Well, let's. Since we're having so much fun with this, let's just go all the way, shall we? All right, these are oracle cards. These are twin flame, life partner, all that kind of stuff. So let's see what comes out. Well, now I'll give you guys some answers. Tell us what the Capricorn. So somebody's a divine masculine. It's the Scorpio energy. Trying to manifest. Somebody needs to open up. Oops. Bottom of the deck. Somebody's got a secret admirer. Not a stalker spirit says, but there's a secret in there. Okay. We got ego death. We got temptation. This all goes with the spiritual awakening. Energy cleanse. Third party interference. Healthy boundaries. Okay. So healthy boundaries. Third party interference. Energy cleanse. Temptation. So when you get a test, several of you are having or will have ego deaths. Okay? Alright. 
to get to the yin and yang oracle. Same thing, twin flames, life partners, all that stuff. But we haven't had any of those come out except for the divine masculine here. So we do have a divine masculine on board. That's it so far. The rest of this is all karmic crap. Sorry, Capricorn. You're not even coming out as a divine feminine. So, do the Empress in reverse, sweet pea. You need to get that together. Get up there. You can do it. Go watch all my videos, my soul sessions especially. Go check out those soul sessions. Check out the ones that are called Banning Together. Oops. Oh, that just made you mad, didn't it? Hmm, too bad, too sad. You're going to be triggered like crazy now. Uh-huh. Reflections and projections. Uh, if somebody's doing mirror magic, it's it's not working. I just heard it's being reversed. <clears throat> There's a fake offer coming. Somebody is no longer stuck in nostalgia and memories in the past. Yay! However, remember I said temptation twice now and deception. Mm -mm -mm. There he is. Somebody's going to get tested like crazy. There will be change though. Somebody is making change. I hope that you Capricorn. I really do. But we, who, who there's a Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Um, possibly that is not in love with somebody anymore. Okay, there's there's no love there anymore. It's it's but it's it's the Scorpio. He's bailed. I heard he bailed. Oh, he's going towards a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's who he loves. Spirit just said. I just heard loves, loves, loves. Adore, admire, I keep hearing, love of his life, her light, light, she shines, she shines the light, hmm. okay, he got his uh, rebirth and transformation this winter, I heard he got cracked open, but now there's going to be a celebration, now this has turned into his reading, because <laughs> I heard he got away from you, <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All that partying. It's in reverse. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yeah. See this? Don't work anymore. The sex tricks. Mm-mm. No more whips and chains. <laughs> All right. Let's put... Oh, man. Let's get some... I love these messages. Let's do these. We're going to end this thing out here real quick because I'm tired. Well, let's get some Reiki messages, okay? Some little Reiki cards. This is a lot, but you wanted it, so if you didn't want this video, I was, we'll do a half hour. Yeah, look at all these damn people that come out. Everybody has to make everything so complicated. Why can't it just be simple? Just like reading with just two damn people in them. God. And then talk about all the goodness and abundance coming their way. All right, anger not, okay? This is the Reiki symbol, Okaluana. Anger not. This is a very, 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 very strong saying that's used. Makato, love. See this? There you are, Scorpio. This person maybe um, that you care for could be maybe a Reiki master, Reiki practitioner, somebody that's spiritual. Submit spiritual. Energy exchange. You will be able 
to have the energy exchange. This is like your soulmate or something. I just heard twin flame. I'm so sick of twin flames though. So sorry, but uh, spirit says, knock it off, Stephanie. <laughs> knock it off, sister. Okay. Daikaneo. This is balance and harmony. Okay. This is one of the master symbols. Very important. And this is say say he ke. This is about emotion. So Shokure, say he ke, hon chose shonen. Anyway. I have these embedded in me when I got uh and health is in reverse. So remember I said Mr. King of Pentacles. I heard these couples need to get checked. You need to get checked, Capricorn. All of you, Scorpio, everybody needs to get checked. Okay. All right. Um, I have one more deck of Reiki cards. Oops, sorry. It's loud. It's late. I've got to get my office, my other office set up and get this. And then I can stay up however late I want. Because I'm going to pull my out and be loud in my other. I have a barren wall with the people that have the duplex next door. So. I'm going to be quiet. It's super late. I just heard another one bites the dust. So maybe someone likes Queen or has to deal with this situation. But as soon as I said that, all these cards in, it, in my head, it, they all filled out. Is there another? Okay. So we have, we are human beings. It says we often confuse what we do with who we are taken our sense of identity from the kind of job we have or do not have what we all need to remember is that we are human beings not humans doings human doings and then real joy real joy there is no more joyful place in the world than exactly where you are right now because you cannot experience real joy when your mind is elsewhere Thinking of what has happened in the past or what might happen in the future. Make sense of your life. Being spiritually fit means living more consciously by being more grounded, clear, and compassionate. This helps us to make more sense of our lives because it allows us to connect with others from a place of deeper understanding. All right. One more oracle deck, and then I've had enough. Okay. Yeah. Did we get an angel number? Oh my god, look at all these cards. We really went there, didn't we? We sure did. A lot of good here, though. Ooh, got this little fire going on. <laughs> this lit again. All right. That's two wishes in a row. Yeah. Good ones for you guys in this reading I just made. Yep. Okay. I just heard peace and prosperity. Somebody needs to start writing that down. You have to change your damn password to it. So that how many times a day you use a password, you're putting that out there. Think of it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Start using um, positive words in your passwords. Okay. Storm, spirit, chaos. Oh, boy. We talked about the towers when the tower cards and justice came out. So spirit is coming 
I told you they send these gods, these angels down. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <sighs> this is true. When this happens, any time lightning, thunder, a twin flame is getting cracked open or leveling up or figuring things out. The light's coming, so yeah. And after I say that, I look down and it's the stag spirit. So this is the storm spirit. This is the stag spirit. So these are my nature cards. And this is about leadership. Be the leader. Somebody here, like I said, is supposed to, has a, you got a mission. Oh, I just look down. My little angel cards. Purpose. Purpose. Okay. Clarity. We just talked about peace. Remember me saying uh, this King of Cups, somebody's his light. Oh, I love that. Abundance. I just said prosperity a minute ago. Somebody's got to work with being vulnerable. Vulnerability. <laughs> talked a minute a bit about love and laughter. Okay. And then, oh, we've had this all night. Transformation. This is a spirit of transformation coming in to help out. Look how beautiful that is. She is. And retreat. This is about hermit mode. So somebody has been in hermit mode, mode after whatever happened this winter. I heard spring summer. Oh, God, yes, all damn year long. Apparently, whatever's been going on. So, yep, somebody went in with the spirit here of retreat and winter all right one more time around then we're done we're calling it is ah, i'm getting a headache again oh whoever you are <sighs> somebody says it's not enough well i hope that this hasn't been so disappointing to you but this is enough yep here you go. Somebody needs to trust. Go in. Inward. You need to study. You need to learn. You need to gain knowledge. You need to trust. Get into your fort, your cave, whatever. Go into your office, your room, your special place. You need to be learning and using this time. Learn, learn, learn. There were so many times when I was going through different things, spiritual awakenings, that and I would ignore my friends and of course we go out and have fun and certain things and certain times go out too much other times go into complete hiding but when i'm in hiding i soak up knowledge and everybody that knows me knows i do that and i work and work and practice my craft and i i do all kinds of stuff to gain more knowledge and wisdom but i love to learn so but this person's gonna you're going through something and you're going to have to step up your game. So you but you might as well start now. You might as well start now. And when you do, you're going to start seeing this. Because this spirit has been sent to help. Okay? It's about miracles. So you got to put some work in here. Yes, you do, sister. I know you can do it, though. This Scorpio, he's a leader. He's got this stag spirit here. And they're trying to help you, too. Mm-hmm. You both got transformation going on. <laughs> but I just heard you're not meant to be together anymore. Time is over, I heard. Yep, somebody is tr in the transmutation energy. Transmutation, sorry. It's the phoenix rising, and this is super Scorpio energy. <laughs> yep, this is about self-worth, beauty, now, this is also, remember the temptation card? So, the spirit's coming down saying, yes, you're beautiful. Yes, you know it. Do not use those traits, characteristics that you have to get things that you want the wrong way. Look at that. See them all there? Mm-hmm. Don't be a part of the coochie crew anymore. Coochie crew's getting dismantled, I just heard. Yep. Look, ladies, you're getting dismantled. You're all going to learn self-worth. Yep. And then new beginnings. 
New beginnings. Love it. All right. At the end. So we have Earth, Earth Spirit. That's the uh, stability. I just love this deck. Love, love, love. Oh, there's so many other cool decks I want to. Oh, gosh. I'm almost going to be at 100 here soon. <laughs> I'm a freak. I love my deck. So, anyways. Purity. Okay. It's pur purification. Unicorn spirit. Oh, it just split in half. <sighs> what did I just talk about? Knowledge. Spirit is trying, telling you, seek. You will find. I said this in, I don't know what video. Um, um, where's it? I did a video the other night. I don't know. I can't remember which sign. Um, or if it was in the three bind my series. Um, however, um, in this series, I said, remember, um, feel the dreams. That was the movie. Kevin Costner, feel the dreams. Okay. Remember they tell him, build it. They will come. Okay. That is this spirit and that is what you need adapt to okay just look down remember me saying the truth's gonna come forward well it is it surely 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 is okay all right enough said all right capricorn don't bug me anymore whoever you are you know which direction you need to go in. You obviously have an important mission here, too. You just need to get on board. And I really, really, really know you can do it. I do. Oh, wait. Oh, just for the hell of it. Uh, might as well just go full hour and a half. Finish this off. And I got some chocolate cards here, too. Even though we did the stones. All right. This is my spiritual deck. <laughs> Light worker. Yeah. Get grounded. Okay? You don't want to be the Empress in reverse anymore. Please get grounded. I know you can do this. Please. Huh. Underneath. Spiritual awakening. Okay, these cards. Huh. Funny enough. I shuffled this, shuffled this, that. Those came out. Um earlier today and I ended up putting those in I think in my story or it's on my Instagram somewhere so yeah you have been bugging me all day okay somebody's a part of the Pleiades I said mission double mission so you will be a you'll be able to channel um with the other side when you step into your power um Scorpio, you also have these same abilities, I'm being told, okay? And you have a mission, buddy. Help up, lift, up, lift humanity, okay? So Capricorn, you have this. You can, you as well, but it's up to you. You're not accepting it. So if you don't accept it, spirit goes, that's fine. You want to be karmic. You want to stay in these cycles, and you don't want to go forward and and uh, jump through that portal and take the gateways and and learn different things that he goes okay that's fine what we'll do we'll serve you up some more of the people that are the same kind we're just going to wrap them up different and send them back to you and then you can end up in this again and when you finally get sick and tired of it then uh, we're gonna let you loose See what you do again. I mean, if this is what you want, they'll give it back to you. They, they, they will. They, they will give it back to you. So it's up to you, sweetheart. It really is. Whatever you decide. So I'm just telling you. Anyway, all right. Let's go back. So the Pleiades. They're trying. They're they're working with this Scorpio, and apparently he's getting it. You guys have so many people here working and helping. Yep, share your voice. Oh, 
Oh boy. Come out of the cave. Oh, we had the cave here earlier. Yes. Yep. Crystal cave. Oh my God. I love how spirit does this. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. Trust. Go in, get the knowledge, and then you need to come out. You have a story, you guys. Both of you do. The Scorpio is going to go forward. He's going to share his voice and his story with whoever he is meant to do this with. I can, yep. And you, sweetheart, you, there is, you, your person's out there too to do this with. Mm hmm. But you got to get upright and you got to get out of this Empress in reverse energy. And you've got some serious battles to fight here. And you need to get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of them. Block, delete. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. There you go. Mirror, who and what is triggering you? You're triggering your damn self. And by having me do this read today, you're going to be really triggered. And since you bugged me all day and thought this was going to come out different, it hasn't. So I don't want to say good luck, good luck but you're going to need it. The Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion. You're a high priestess, you're a mystic, and you're supposed to be a teacher. Oh, here, what did I say? And this came out earlier. God, listen, please. I want to see you do what you're meant to do. You'll be such a happier person. I know this is going to be hard. But if you stay on my channel and follow, you can get through this. I know you can. I just do. I just do. I don't know. I don't know you, but I do. It's weird. I can feel you. So, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. That's what's waiting for you. Okay? So, you can take it or leave it. I know you're not a bad person. You've been put in some bad situations. You may have gotten conned into it. You may have, I heard, dragged into it. So, of course, you're bitter, you're angry, you're pissed off. But this jealousy and envy and rage that you're having, I get it. I I, I understand. I would do more than you know. But um, it's only going to hurt you. And these people don't care. They don't. They will go find new bees. That's what they do. They're professional groomers, okay? So, get out while you can or you're going to end up a troll with them. I just heard the word, I mean, God, I hate this. Ugh. Just heard the word pedophilia. It pisses me off so bad because these people need to get off the streets, quit hurting people. I really hope I'm wrong. I really do because I'm sick of it. <sighs> but it's part of what we're supposed to do. So, I don't know. I guess I get to be one of these other individuals guides that's supposed to bring this stuff forward and help save other people i mean i hope we do i hope we do that's the whole point here is to help people heal learn to heal themselves and save themselves so i really 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 hope whoever you are you figure this out because i have a feeling that you have kids i don't know why but i do and i think right now that cave I already put the card away. You need to go build a fort or a hut with your kids and get down and play. And this keeps coming up too in the readings. So I, I just have a feeling you have your energy of connecting into it for a while. And you figure it out because you are powerful. But you're doing everything in the reverse. Yeah, you're doing everything in the reverse. So... Quit using it in the wrong way. I'm not even gonna bring out the the magic cards that that tell me because I don't even I already know the answers what you have been up to. Called no good. It's backfired. So get out of it while you can. Alright. Oh I did do the angel number. Okay. Alright, enough said. Much love and light to you, whoever you are, and all of you here involved. I wish all of you healing. I hope you find your souls. I really do. 
because I have a feeling some of you sold them to the devil for this. Yeah. And that. And this is what you manifested. Deceit and temptation. So, with that being said, flip it around. All of you can do this. Whoever is super sick over here, it's super sad. Um, I Hopefully, it's treatable. I don't know. I don't know. Spirit's not telling me. It's none of my business anyways. So, anyway, take care of yourselves, you guys. I really appreciate it. I can feel the love and the support. <coughs> um, and I love it when I can help people and I can bring some light to some situations. So, take good care of yourselves. Give some people some peace by making some situations right here. It will give you peace. Pay something forward for a change instead of taking. So I have a feeling there's been a lot of takers here and not givers. I mean, there's been obviously givers because somebody's been funding this whole little operation. But that's not giving the right way. That's giving completely in a manipulative way in order to have control. So that's not what we want. That's not what you really wanted or intended, but you ended up up there i think a lot of you ended up there so um <laughs> i keep saying this and i'll keep saying it the devil will give you first what god won't or whatever you believe it the universe or bigger than it whatever your belief is the devil will always give you what you think you want first mm-hmm it does i've experienced it I married it once. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> My second husband. He's the damn devil. For damn sure. Broke my son's nose. Bashed it into his face. Th three years old. Yep. He didn't even remember doing it. Huh? That's what lifetime. I know what the wrath feels like to somebody when they're under that um, behavior. I know. Getting the shit knocked out of you feels like. So, anyways, with that said, I hope whoever you were, you get out of this cycle. Because I have a bad, bad feeling that this kind of crap has happened to you. But I'm here to attest that you can, you're stronger. I, can, I felt you. As much energy that you carry to be pissed off and angry and bitter... Just think if you could turn that into healing and tell your story. Or if you don't want to tell your story, that's fine. Let it out bits and pieces here and there to help people like I'm doing. It's not about being a victim or um, about getting on and, I mean, a crybaby. It's helping other people. That's all it is. That's what it's meant for. That's all in the way that you present it. So that tells you how healed you are or not. So... I know you're not healed. I know you've got a long ways to go. But I also know it can be done. Because I've seen it. So good luck with that. I wish the best to all of you that are involved in this story. I hope some of these things that um, people are struggling with. Whether it's, it's physical, mental, health issues here. I really, really hope all those of you that are being affected. Or you let this happen to yourselves. You get the help you need. I really do. So with that being said, good night. Take care. Ciao.